First of all, let me say the reason we did not comment or answer it, we, we laughed about it because it is totally, it's, it's a ridiculous statement. We come here to observe every participant. Just the day before we were with President Langa and we went through many things there and before then the first group we met was um, Mr. Mkofu, the Secretary General of ZANU-PF with his entire team and we exchanged ideas, we exchanged So if you take a picture with, with me and Mr. Mkofu and you support CCC, then you create a story, he has been, you know, he's favoring uh, ZANU-PF, then you don't understand the role of observers. If we don't go away, it is how we will observe. Observing means you are seeing. So we went to see, but we did not go with him. That was the naughtiness of that story. And that is why we did not answer it. Somebody decided to say, we went to see, we went with him. No, we didn't. We were at that polling station when Mr. Chamisa came. We made no contact with him. We didn't speak with him. We were observing from far. He left without any eye contact. And if that is wrong, then why are we here? Why do we come here and put on these jackets if we are not supposed to, to see what these people are doing? What if he had been beaten there or he claims that he was, they didn't allow him to vote? How do we know? How do we stand by that if we never observe? So I think that is, we felt, sorry for using this word, we felt it was a cheap article which might have had a reason behind it. That's really what we said. And let me be clear, this country is Zimbabwe, uh, and I hope this doesn't get me into trouble again. This is where President Mugabe comes from, a man that really explained to us in the region what it means to be nationalistic. We don't do these elections, and we need to get that out of our minds. This thing going around that you are West or East, some of us and the subject principles, we don't do these elections for the West or for the East, we do them for ourselves. And if we are not original in the manner we are doing these elections, we always point at each other, you, you are with the West. When they are voting in America, do they say we are on Africa side or we are on Asia side? They just vote on their side. And so I think let's get away from that and concentrate on what is our interest as Africa, as Africans and as we vote, let's not always say we are doing it for this one or for that one. Let's do it for ourselves. I thought it was important for me to clear that. I didn't want to talk about it, but we started it. That's why I have decided to answer it. No, no, sir. We were basically doing our job for which we were sent by our bosses from which one to make sure that we do the right thing. There's another question about the Flyers. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we have. The, we saw the flyers. All we can say ourselves is that it's unfortunate. We've taken note of that. And um, we are anticipating or expecting, you know, that Zimbabwe itself and uh, the security rules must investigate and co you know, find out who is behind that. Because I think that affects the electoral process. Some people pick it up, read it, and believe the message that was there, and they don't go and vote. And that is really interfering with the electoral process. So we, we are demanding that the security wings of Zimbabwe must investigate and find out who is responsible for that, and uh, take them to task. And, uh, you know, if that in any way would have affected the election, I think that is too early to tell. I think let's just say that we have condemned that, and I think it's a desperate move, but we saw evidence. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm done for the